Hi folks, County Line Gardener here with you. Hey, it's uh, July the 4th. Happy Independence Day to everybody. We're going to do a garden video, our update for the month. I just want to show you my, my onion harvest. Real, real happy with that. Uh, gosh, I wished I had, I got it wrote down, but uh, anyway, this is how we, we dry them. We hang them up in here. If you'll recall, right there you can see that's what I usually hang my lights on and then my plants go underneath there. But it, during the summer, when I have to dry my stuff, my plants, I always use this. This is actually my wife's doing. She does a lot of this work now. I'm just not able to. Uh, go around here. Here's a, something I did just for fun. Uh, I had some old six-year-old tomato seeds and uh, I planted them late. Let's see, January, February, March, April the 15th, I planted these. I didn't think these ever going to take off. Or, uh, ro I don't know how to say that. It's a Russian name, Rosy V, but they're really nice, big, big pink tomatoes. Let's jump on the old, uh, the old golf cart here. This is Mommy's golf cart here. The new one, of course. Here's something I, I kind of got, uh, well, I got uh, asked to do, and I did. It's my daughter. She doesn't ask for much, so uh, she raises chickens. Well, she wanted me to build her a chicken coop. Well, like I had the time for it with all this big garden, but I did. I'm glad I did it. It's uh, it's it's big, it's big enough for four, maybe five chickens. Not very big, not very big at all. Uh, <clears throat> she wanted it black and white, painted black and white for some reason. Here's where the nesting boxes will be. I'm going to do that as soon as I get done with this video. Here's the tractor we use all the time. It's a uh, it hasn't rained here, folks, so we haven't needed to use the rototiller. We ain't getting no, uh, no uh, weeds. Let's go on up to the garden. Huh. Yeah. Alright, off we go. Beautiful day here for uh, July the 4th. We have family coming up here after a while. About five o'clock this evening, they want to come up and got to go down here and show you the decorating. My wife likes to decorate for Fourth of July a little bit. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty darn good. Pretty impressive, I think. She does an awful good job. She painted that whole deck just so we could have it for ready for Fourth of July. Then all the flags and stuff. My new neighbor next door. He's real neighborly. He's real neighborly. First thing he did was put that six foot wall up there between us. But that's okay. Best move you ever made. We're having some trouble here. Oh boy. Oh no. Got a skunk here. We've had trouble with skunks all summer. Uh, I don't know what to do with them. That, uh, that one there is not moving too much though. That's a baby. Let's see here. Oh, oh. No, I got this. I bought this on eBay for a joke. And I'll show you. I'll tell you about that in a minute. There's the greenhouse. It's all empty, of course. That's our shed now. Let's go over here and we'll. I'll try to explain this hose here to you here in a minute. <coughs> We're. It's so dry here, folks. We're. Uh, we're watering. We're watering all that big garden up. That's strawberries there. We've already got one one crop off of them. Now we're getting another. This was my onion bed. I had big white candy onions in these two. You recall the last videos. Big red ones in this one. And then I sold them to you in there hanging in the garage. They're hanging in there drying now and curing. We'll let them cure in there for what, a couple weeks, probably. 
<sighs> okay, yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll dice them up and chop them up and freeze them. We'll freeze them, what we don't sell. Here we're coming up on the blackberry garden. I finally said it right, blackberry garden. And we were having to water it. You can tell, you can see my, you see my sprinklers down there. It's not really high tech, but it, it works. Gonna have to move them around a little bit though, but uh, we're just starting to get blackberries like crazy here. Look at them. My wife keeps picking them. Oh, oh I've seen one. I think I seen a blackberry ripe. Well, not quite ripe. See, it's, it's got a little bit of red on the end of it. They're all over the place. Down below, she said. Huh? Okay. Anyway, they're huge. They're they're huge. There we go. This one's not very big. That's not a very big blackberry, but it's sure good. Mm. We chop them up and put them on vanilla ice cream. Make jelly. We make a lot of jelly. Oh, I just got wet. Oh, I forgot I was watering. I just drove right through the damn sprinkler. Excuse me. Oh well, anyway, let's go on up here to the top of the hill. There we're, <laughs> this is my wife's idea. This is a scarecrow, okay? Oh, bless her heart. We're having trouble with the uh, crows. And I guess deer. it's crows and deer. They're coming up here and they're, uh, well, they're, they're, they're pecking on the tomatoes. Yeah. You see, uh, peppers are doing great. Peppers are just doing outstanding over here. Oh, uh, oh, we got four rows, 12 in each row. Over here's our green beans and the weeds. <laughs> I can't cut the I can't keep I can't keep the weeds cut in between the the green beans, but uh, that's okay. I'll show you how we we pick them green beans here in another video shortly. Corn's doing good. Corn's doing good. We got four rows of green beans. They're jade green beans. Uh, they're the best. They're a little more expensive. The seeds are. They're damn expensive. I think it's about fifteen dollars a pound. But anyway. Uh, now this is a idea I had, oh, this is a can, uh, cucumbers. Those are going to grow up the size of that cattle paddle there and they're going to go over the top and the cucumbers supposedly will hang down. We'll see. This corn on this side of the drainage we have is the Indian corn. My wife likes to grow this Indian corn. You've heard all, you know all about that. It, uh, it's really pretty. Here's my pride and joy. We had, well, we had first, we had these six, we had six bell pepper plants left over. So we put them out up here and they're growing good. But here's my pride and joy, is my tomatoes. If you like her scarecrow, she's, uh, she's into that now. I mean, I guess it's working that and she come in my room and stole all my damn CDs. All my, 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 my CDs, which those things are a thing of the past anyway with the uh, flash drives now. So anyway, I give them to her. And she's got them hanging up and they really reflect good off the sun. If, if you want to get rid of the birds, that, that'll work. They don't like that reflection. Here's our access road. We got, we got our tomato a garden or a patch gar tomato patch split in half and uh we have an access road here it's wide we bring the trailer in here and load it full of tomatoes and it looks like i need to get in between the rows here and uh rototill i might do that after a while it's uh that's, that's awful for me i mean that's not good 
not good at all. Oh well, anyway, I'll get that. I'll get take care of that. Come on up here. We got 12 rows of tomatoes. You can see. They're all doing good. Oh, they're looking good. There's some crazy looking tomatoes right there. Them are uh, San Marzano. They're oblong shaped. They're kind of funny looking. My wife was just up here early this morning. Just at daylight watering because, well folks, it's, it's just so dry we have to water. And you, that's a lot of watering. We have a 35 gallon tank we keep on the back of that golf car and uh, it takes about four about an hour and a half which is you know that's not too bad we we're retired we don't we don't worry about clocks and stuff too much but uh, here's my potatoes here's my potatoes they're doing great there's a lot of weed yeah I know that's what you're thinking I don't care I can't weed in between them rows I can't weed in between them plants I weed in between the rows. If you'll notice up here, they're getting wimpy. We're finding bugs, so I think we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to spray after a while. Yep. Yeah, I found one over here too. I am um, Colorado potato bugs. They just won't. Uh, they don't won't give up. Here's something I wanted to show you. I showed you in the last video. I'll show you again. See that there uh, bloom? pretty ain't it well get rid of it get rid of that don't let them grow on your tomato plants or potato plants excuse me they uh you don't need them all they do is suck up energy from your plant uh they have a little actually a little fruit at the end of my guess but i haven't let them get that big yet but uh we come up here when we see them bloom when they start blooming <clears throat> Excuse me, we get rid of them. We get rid of them. Uh, I learned that on YouTube from some, some lady on YouTube. Said, pull them off. Go down here, show you. This is kind of our, well, these are blackberries. And they, that's, it's not, it's not plowed because, what well, doesn't need to be. Uh, we mow in between the plants. These are all blackberries up here. Now here is a row that we keep, maybe sometimes two rows, for uh, items in the greenhouse that are not sold. You know, we sell our greenhouse plants. And uh, these are a couple of tomato plants here. Uh, and cherry there, I don't know what that one is. Looky here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's an eggplant growing there. There's a couple of eggplants on there. We sell our produce. We have a little stand out front here. And a new sign down by the by our road in front of our house. Fresh garden produce for sale. That's where we keep the lawnmower. Push mower up here for, uh, for, for mowing. These are red cabbage here. I don't know if they're going to go or not. They're growing good, but we'll see. We'll see. This last row... Wow, he did cut some trees down, didn't he? Okay, anyway. Oh, look at the one. Yeah. Uh, here's a black bear. Look at the size of this baby. Okay, there. Now, that's a nice black bear. Yes, sir. That's what uh, my wife, she just, she just devils in these, these big blackberries. They're getting there. They're getting there. We normally have them about the 4th of July or a little sooner. But folks, all these all these plants right here, I made a video, oh, uh, what was it, number 14, 13, 15, I don't know. Way back, way back. Uh, guy gave me these plants. He gave me these plants, they were about a foot tall. Yeah, <laughs> he gave me these and, and I did a video on planting them. If you look back, and uh, this is the results. It's a little work up front. You can see where last year's are dying out. And you're supposed to cut them out of there. We just, we try, we try to keep up with it. But that's about the size of everything. 
it's time for me to go to the house and shut that water off to that sprinkler down there in the blackberry garden but you know last year if you'll recall we had nothing because of all the rain all the rain and it just swamped us this this garden was never dry this year it's been never wet we've gone I think we've had one and a half inches of rain in the last 30 days that's not enough that's not enough but that's why we're replenishing it with our water tank and I'm thinking and I'm seriously thinking about having a water line put up here so I can sprinkle it <coughs> with sprinklers I worked uh, I worked on a golf course I know how to I know how to operate them sprinklers uh, just set them on timers if you want but uh, it's, a, it's a water bill problem you gotta worry about that that's, that's the thing that's holding us back right now there's some okra here growing it's going to outgrow the weeds <laughs> yeah it's going to outgrow the weeds but there's okra in there it's nice it's going to be nice see my wife's thinned that out this is the sweet corn we seen from the other we seen this from the other side a minute ago if you recall uh like i said i can't fight the weeds it's just too bad too much too much my wife's taking all of her fall uh, scarecrows, I guess you call them, the things she puts up in the fall. And uh, she's using them for scarecrows, and they seem to be working. They seem to be working. She's, you can tell she's been up here watering this morning. I've been working on that, uh, that chicken coop. I want to get that darn thing done. She's wanting, she's seen something she wants to jump out and get. But uh, something's knocking our peppers off the plant. They're not eating them. They're just knocking them off the plant. Not all of them. Not all of them. Just a few. But it's kind of confusing. We'll come back here one day and something, I think a squirrel, had, <laughs> he, he had gotten into a habanero. And uh, <clears throat> it, he had spit it out too, because it was laying there. So he, <laughs> yeah, there's some nice ones down through here. Okay. Ah, there's some. There's what I'm talking about. Those aren't hot, are they? Those aren't not hot peppers there. But so it, it, they're pulling them off of them, trying them out, and then spitting them out. I guess I don't know. No harm, no foul. We know we don't. We don't. It ain't that much. As much as we've got here, we ain't, it ain't gonna hurt us to lose a couple of peppers or a couple of tomatoes. Something's eating our tomatoes. I got one here in the, in the cart, and it's a bird. I know it's a bird. It, you can tell it's pe it's pecked on it. Well, it's about time to turn that sprinkler off, and uh, I want to get back to that. Where'd my squirrel go there, Mom? It, it's laying there, my squirrel. My skunk, okay. Got a plan for this little skunk here. I got a neighbor right here. Go show him? No, boy. Well, you know, we could set that over there right now. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. They went, they went camping. They went camping, so what we're gonna do is, she's really griped and groaned about these skunks in our neighborhood and uh, I'm going to take that skunk that little that little fluffy skunk as cute as a button anyway I'm going to take it and I'm going to set it at the edge of this garden and she's going to look at it from up there on her deck and see it I, I can't wait to see what the reaction is going to be bless her heart that's her that's her little garden there uh she loses that about every other year to a flood. But water gets in here and stands, as you can tell. But uh, I'm, I can't wait to see the reaction. I'll let you folks know later about the, her reaction. <laughs> That's just funny just thinking about what's going to happen here. We were getting up here to the greenhouse where the water line's on and turn that, uh, that line off. So I can't really think of anything else. Uh, 
uh, if they're onions, they're drying. <clears throat> I'd say the green beans, it's July the 4th. Green beans are probably another two weeks, probably at least two weeks away. Uh, got me a bird bath here. Won't set level, but it's there, and uh, the birds shouldn't be dirty anymore, I guess. I don't know what to pull. I like watching them play in it. So, uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to sign off for now. This video's lasted long enough, and uh, I'm going to put cucumbers, I guess, in my raised beds now. We'll have a nice cucumber bed. Got My, my wife's got some real pretty flowers there in the greenhouse that's a cherry plant that's a yellow cherry called a sun sugar so hey we're, we're going to cut her off for now go over here and part in the shade and sit on the deck for a few minutes and back to work on the chicken coop folks i'll talk to you again later this is the county line gardener saying bye bye